I haven't talked about the stingy pitcher's betting system often this year, but today is a great opportunity to do so. At the time that I developed this betting strategy, in 2019, it had produced a plus 7.1% ROI over 7 full seasons. That being said, how has it performed since then? Let's take a look. Both in 2019 and 2021, the Stingy Pitchers system suffered some losses. Then it came back with slight gains both during the 2022 and 2023 seasons. Now, what about the current 2024 season? So far, it has suggested to make 44 bets, whose average odds were 2.10 in decimal format, which corresponds to plus 110 in American format. That means we have back more underdogs than favorites, so a record below 500 was expected. However, this strategy has posted a nice 24 and 20 record. If you take into account the odds from each play, we have accumulated a nice plus 12.2% ROI. Awesome! So, how does this system work exactly? Let me explain the details. Suppose you have a team playing on the road with a money line that is smaller than plus 150. If that visiting club has won its past two games, by allowing either zero or one run in each of those victories, then, according to historical data, it is best to bet against the road squad. After this quick break, let me indicate which team we are betting today by following this set of rules. Let's focus on the Cincinnati Reds for a moment. They are on the road today, and their money line is a lot smaller than plus 150 right now. And if you take a look at their schedule, they are indeed coming off a couple of victories in which they gave up 0 and 1 run respectively. So, by following the stingy pitcher's betting angle, my top MLB pick for September 10 is the St. Louis Cardinals to defeat the Reds at Bush Stadium. Andre Palante gets the nod for the Cardinals, and he must be thrilled about the idea of facing the Reds today. Why? Because he has owned them throughout his career. As a matter of fact, he has presented a perfect 5-0 career record against Cincinnati, coupled with a superb 1.31 ERA in 14 appearances. Meanwhile, the Reds will hand the ball to rookie Rhett Lauder. On the surface, his first two MLB starts have gone great because he is showing a mind-boggling 0.87 ERA. But if you take a deeper look at the numbers, you realize he struck out 9 batters versus 8 walks, which is an ugly ratio. You simply cannot issue 8 walks in close to 10 innings in the big leagues. I would not be surprised if he gets drilled tonight in St. Louis. The odds are reasonable on the Cardinals, so that will be my pick in this NL Central Division matchup. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more MLB, NFL, college football, NHL, and NBA betting tips from the nerdy statistician that's been crushing online sportsbooks since 1999. Cheers, guys!